welcome to the Beyond Cinema studio up here at Sundance, Gonen, Masab and Nadav. Firstly, uh, congratulations on having the film here. I know how important obviously Sundance is, especially for documentaries. Um, how does it feel knowing that this film is going to get seen and then re-seen throughout the year and you're going to be traveling with it for a while? Um, I don't know about traveling with it for a while because we actually have other films to uh, to work on, but uh, but but listen, for us, it's a, it's a you know first of all, it's a privilege uh, to be here at Sundance. The response that we're getting for the audience is is tremendous. Every time Gonen and Musab walk on stage, people get up, and 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 you get a sense really that the, the film inspires the audience and, and gives them a sense of hope, which is something really rare. I mean, that's what connected me to the story. When, 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 I, when I understood the nature of the relationship of our friends, I, I was filled with a sense of hope. And, and that was one of the things that compelled me to do, to do this film. And when you see the audiences here responding to it, you know, being inspired by it, um, it's a great privilege, man. We're very thankful for this. Did someone give you the book? Is that how it started, or like, what? Was, how did you become aware of? Well, yeah, I, I first read uh, uh, the book "Son of Hamas" that Mosab had written, and I was uh, I was very much taken by the insider's perspective on Hamas. You know, I'm an Israeli, and Hamas are our neighbors, and um, and we know very little about them, and 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 and, and Mosab, who had lived very a very long time inside you know the the inside Hamas had a unique perspective so that's the first thing that grabbed me and then I was introduced by one of our associates to uh, to Gonen and when I understood the second half of the story when I understood Gonen's relationship with Mossab um, I was immediately you know filled with a sense of hope which as I said is very rare yeah. and then I went to uh, to meet Mossab in, uh, in America uh, and, and, and it was a process of getting to know each other, I guess, all three of us. I mean, these guys are our best friends, you know, and they had to get to know me and, and to trust me to, to understand and to where I wanted to take this. Uh, and it was really a process. Yeah, trust is such a central theme in the film and in your relationship. To bring someone else into that inner circle, um, did it take a process for you, for him? Like, were you kind of feeling him out, making sure he was the right one to tell this story? for each of you when you first met him? It's a process. Uh, to work with a director in many aspects is very much like uh, handling a source, just the uh, opposite uh, direction. This time, the handler is the director. And I remember my first, uh, first meeting with uh, Nadav. Uh, I remember when I met him, we had a very good conversation. I sensed that he really understands uh, the story and I knew that he is the right uh, guy, uh, but it took time because, you know, we sat together, we were talking, uh, I saw that uh, he, he understands deeply uh, the story from my point of view. Um, yeah, but, it, but it's certainly a process, you know. Yeah, and did you, Masab, for you in this story, like, I mean, obviously you had the book which made you also somewhat of a public figure um, but in terms of taking it to the screen and making sure that your story was told properly and faithfully? Yes, uh, I met Nadav several times and we uh, spoke uh, on the phone uh, many times uh, before we uh, made the decision. And I think uh, uh, he saw the story and uh, he could uh, understand its uh, dimensions uh, very well and this is uh, why we went with him. Gonen, when you first came forward to support Musab, um, obviously I don't think you would have ever foreseen that you would have become this kind of public representation of this issue. Um, how are you handling that role and responsibility? Is it something that you welcome or something that you think is just necessary? I think that uh, there are a few steps in this uh, process. and uh, The first one was to support him uh, personally. And actually, the, what happened was that when he first uh, went out with an interview to an arts uh, magazine about the fact that he uh, converted to Christianity and he lives in the U.S., uh, I contacted him through Avi Sakharov that uh, wrote uh, the article. And this was only, you know, just a personal issue between Mossab and I. Uh, later on, when there was this uh, deportation uh, issue, I had to go out and say what I had to say. 
but it wasn't really you know my choice this was the way to uh, make sure that he stays in the US and get, gets uh, asylum so basically it wasn't my 100% uh, choice of course this is what I decided okay I wasn't pushed uh, into it um, and I think that now when I talk, talk about steps now this is uh, the time you know to speak out loud to our people uh, what we have to say and we have a lot to say to our people and have you is there, has there ever been a moment where you realize you've now either that you regret what you did or that you now realize that that allowed or enabled a lot of other people to also do the same thing I think that especially now in Sundance when we when I see the audience response to the story I understand fully you know what uh, message we have because I, I know it you know I felt it I knew that this is the right thing to do I knew that uh, it will be a very good uh, platform to bring our story out but you know we go to uh, talk with people we have Q&A's we hear what people have to say and ask about the story and the way people are uh, processing this uh, story is just you know unbelievable and Masab for you I mean it's such a, all, the, all the personal vulnerable information that gets conveyed how are you are you totally comfortable with seeing yourself on screen convey that information or do you are you still struggling with the process yourself you know it's not an easy thing to be uh, um, to have your personal life uh, uh, on screen, uh, your uh, personal struggle uh, or struggles, um, uh, but uh, there is something that uh, the new generation uh, in the Middle East that they can learn. Many young uh, men and uh, women in the Middle East live today the same exact struggle that I lived. I don't like to see myself uh, again going through the struggle. When I look at the screen, I go back. Like I see my life in 101 minutes. And that's not an easy thing. Even if it was not uh, drama, even if it was good memories, it's still hard and uh, overwhelming to see yourself uh, in a short time. Um, but uh, uh, let's say we sacrifice a little bit of comfort in order to uh, teach uh, or show excuse me, show uh, the people in the Middle East uh, a way how to fight back uh, for our freedoms and uh, to make the right choice. In terms of social impact, because obviously film can have a great impact, um, but from the book or s from the process after the book was released, have you had a personal contact with someone who has kind of gone through this with you and said, look, you've inspired me to do a similar thing and what did that if that's happened, what did that mean to you? Well, definitely uh, we received uh, thousands of emails from Gaza, from Ramallah, from uh, other Arab countries, um, young Muslim uh, people who uh, didn't know what to do and uh, they communicated and it was really nice to hear um, that the story had an impact on their lives and they were encouraged. It's very hard to keep up with uh, everybody. And this is maybe the, the part that I feel responsible when someone asks me something, but I don't have the time to respond immediately right. or to all of them. Uh, but definitely uh, people are touched and inspired. And what's, uh, sorry, on, on, that, uh, on that point, what's amazing here at Sundance is that you realize that the, the response of the people is not only in the context of the conflict, because you mentioned trust, another big theme of this film is following your own moral compass and doing what's right. And we had people come out to us who says, you know, we work in companies in America and corporations, and sometimes, you know, the boss takes a decision or the company takes a direction that we don't agree with. And we're faced with two choices, is either, you know, keep our mouth shut and go with the flow, and then it does something to us inside. Either, you know, we follow our own moral compass and speak out and we risk losing our jobs. And both Mosab and Gonen, you know, they took a great personal risk to follow that moral compass. So you get a sense here, and this is amazing with the, with the Sundance audiences, that it's not only about Palestinian Israelis following the moral compass and doing the right thing, it's everybody. It's sort of an encouragement 
to do what's right, you know, to speak out and, you know, listen to your inner intuitions and go for it. Yeah. And obviously there was a film not long ago by Dror Moret, The Gatekeepers, also about Shimbet, also an amazing film. Listen, I, I love that film. I, you know, I really, I, I love Dror and, and what he did. But in context and in content, the big difference is that these people are sitting behind a desk and talking about the things that should have been done but they didn't really do and these are two people in the same branch who actually you know went, uh, went into the field risked their lives and then did what was right even if it meant going against the grain and the gatekeepers they keep saying how the political level dictated things and even if they thought it was wrong and even if the moral compass told them well this is wrong they didn't do anything about it and these are all top people these are some of the best people in Israel but they didn't do anything about it yeah. No, that's exactly what I was going to say. It was like that was an institutional focus and you've really kind of pulled it wa towards the personal impact and the personal stories that are affected by it. We're people. We're humans at the end of the day. We're not machines, you know, and you see this in the film also. In the world of intelligence gathering, you have visual intelligence, Vizint, which is drones, satellites, you know, surveillance camera. You have SIGINT, you know, the whole NSA thing of, you know, plugging into your mails and phones, etc. And then you have the human, the human intelligence, which is the smallest part today, regretfully, but it's also the most sensitive one and the most valuable one. And it's about humans, and humans are flawed. I mean, you see in the, in the film, and in real life, actually, it's a bit strange to talk about in terms of the film, but Mossab, without Mossab, a lot of the information, I guess, they were getting technologically could not be properly processed. But Mossab is a man. He needs to feel trusted. He needs this. It's not a machine. You don't press a button. Absolutely. And so thanks for bringing these personal stories to bear. Um, and congratulations on having the film here for all of you. And uh, I hope you continue to enjoy the rest of the journey that this film is going to take. God willing. Cheers. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you.